Welcome back to Winging It With Jen. It has been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> so I'm not even going to go through the whole spiel of, oh, I've been gone because of this and because of that, blah, blah, You guys don't care. All you care about is the makeup, so let's get into the makeup. So today's video is actually going to be a foundation review. I have not filmed in a long time, so forgive me if I seem a little scatterbrained while I try to remember how this whole thing works. So today's product foundation that I'm reviewing is going to be KVD foundation. This is the True Portrait Liquid to Powder Foundation. Now, those of you who may or may not know recently, Kat Von D herself stepped back from the company. So first she said that she was stepping down because she wanted to focus on her other projects like her vegan shoe line and all that. But then afterwards, after the news dropped that she was stepping down and Kat Von D Cosmetics was changing to KVD, which I don't even remember what the abbreviation is for now. Then she went ahead and said that she was stepping down and backing away from the beauty industry because of influencers like me and my fellow YouTubers and other makeup reviewers on Twitter and blogs who were talking crap about her and her life choices. like not vaccinating her animals, and her husband being a neo-Nazi. So now that KVD Beauty is now owned by Kendo Brands, and I believe that it is now called Kindness Vegan Beauty, I really hope they decide to change that later on down the line, but we'll see. So I decided to go ahead and give it a shot. Let me see real quick what Sephora says about it. So according to Sephora, the True Portrait Foundation is a lightweight, medium coverage, liquid to powder, vegan foundation that sets to a long wearing, airy matte finish that won't clog pores. Like it says, the coverage is medium. It's a matte finish. I don't really do matte foundations that often. I tend to do more of like a dewy natural. Like my go-to foundation lately is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. It's more full coverage. It's more of a dewy finish. It's very natural looking. But you know, I have been eyeing this foundation for a while, so I decided to go ahead and jump and give it a shot. I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking and jump into the foundation. Try it. I'm going to apply it and let you guys know my opinions. We'll do a full day wear because we are going out and about today. It is date day. So I will go ahead and do a full day wear test, check it in the night, let you guys know my final thoughts and opinions and all that jazz with flash photos. You know how I do foundation Fridays. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. And to prime, I'm using my e.l.f. Poreless Petty Primer. This is used and abused. I really need to invest in a new one. So I decided to say goodbye to the blonde and I went to like this really pretty purpley reddish color. It is so gorgeous. I feel like it compliments me more than the blonde did. So I really need to update my channel art though. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into applying. It's kind of like a, I was already messing with it a little bit, but so it's kind of like a squeezy bottle. It's really weird and it has a little nozzle. So it's different than some of the foundations I've used. I've never really seen one that had the weird little nozzle on it. Let me give it a good shake just because I don't know if it's going to be settled and what the consistency of it is. If it's thick, creamy, watery, what? So it has like a little roller ball in there that's shaking it up. So but it's kind of hard to squeeze out and it's really, really watery. See, it's really watery. So right here is like my problem area with foundation and I'm already noticing that as I apply it kind of rubs off but pretty much every foundation I have used hates that area so I know it's my problem area. See here. I want to see like up close how my skin looks. It almost looks like it's settling in really nicely, like it's not plopping into my pores too much. I see under my eyes, right here where it's starting to cake, and then right here where my chin kind of creases into my lip area, it is creasing. And of course, this deep, deep crevice I have right here and right here it's really really bunching up like caking up almost so i'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer and the rest of my face stuff and i will sit back down after i finish all that and let you guys know my final thoughts of how it looks 
at first glance on appearance with everything on top of it. And then I'll also take some flash photos, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the finished look and honestly, I'm not even that mad with it. Like, um, like it looks really, really pretty and it doesn't look natural. It's very, very matte, super, super matte. I'm really not much of a matte person, like I said before, but I'm kind of liking how this looks. Although I did notice right here, it doesn't look the best. It looks a little cakey. So I'm going to go ahead and do a whole day wear test. I'm not going to look at the flash photos until I get back just because I want to be kind of surprised and react to them with you. So I haven't seen them yet. I will look at them before I film when I come back and give you guys my opinion. Um, we will see how I look at the end of the day. We have kind of a long day ahead of us. We gotta go to the auto parts store. I have an eye exam. We gotta go shopping. It's gonna be a busy day, running around back and forth all day long. So I think it's gonna be a pretty good wear test as opposed to normally just sitting in the office all day. Um, so I will be back at the end of the day. I will see you guys in a few hours. Love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Be right back. Okay, so we are back. It is 8.35 at night. Um, I kind of forgot to show you guys what time it was before I left. It was like 1-ish, 1.30-ish. So it, it's been eight hours at least. Um, I haven't touched up anything at all today, only my lipstick, but I haven't touched up like my nose. I can already see my nose, my, um, the pads of my glasses just eat at my nose. But let's look a little closer and see how this looks. So like I had thought it was going to my chin, it kind of rubbed away throughout the day, like with eating and drinking and just doing everything. It did fade away right here. Right here, like I was saying, it is kind of, um, clumped up if that makes sense if you can see it is cake in kikia and if i can just rub it off like go like that rubs it completely off that's bad <laughs> like i said you can see the bridge of my nose it is really really crepey and like crinkled up under my eyes but it's like i do wish that i had more coverage on my chin um, uh, that is where most of my redness is, but right, right here and right here is where the other redness is. It stayed covered, but like I said, right here just rubs away completely. And my nose, I've never been able to find a foundation that likes my nose, so I honestly don't know why I even bother putting foundation on my nose anymore at this point. Like, I should know better, but I still do. Um. Probably would give this foundation a six out of 10 just because it didn't last on my chin and it did kind of bunch up and crease. It stayed matte, which I'm surprised with my oily skin. Like my forehead, I can feel that my oils are starting to come through, but it's not super shiny. It still stayed matte, which is honestly a little impressive. It's been a while since I found a matte foundation that stayed matte all day, so I am impressed with that. Yeah, the only issue I have is like my nose and my chin, like I said, so I'm still gonna give it a six out of 10. For the price, $37 and you get one ounce of it. One ounce is generally how much you're gonna get from any foundation, so even my NYX, this is one ounce. Um, let me see. The Becca. This one fluid ounces. So even though the bottle looks small, it, it's one ounce. So it's a normal amount you get with any bottle of foundation. So I mean, you can't complain about the size. For $37 though, for how the lastability is for my whole face entirely staying matte, not getting super, super shiny by the end of the day, I'm honestly impressed, so maybe I will bump it up to a seven, but I feel like that's being kind of nice. So I'll do a six and a half just because it did not last on my chin and around my nose. It kind of creased under my eyes. If it looked completely flawless at the end of the day, 
which I don't remember ever having a foundation that was a 10. Maybe Beauty Bakery? I don't know. I can't remember a brand I've ever given a 10 out of 10. So the hunt continues for the perfect ultimate foundation. Maybe one day, but it's not today. So if you guys like the video, please let me know in the comments down below. Thoughts and opinions, have you tried the Kat Von D True Portrait Foundation? What was your experience? Sound off down below, I'd love to hear from you. So if you guys like the video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And if you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, yes, it's still a thing. Make sure you ring my bell so you be notified every time I upload new videos. I'm trying to get this back up and running and get more videos out for you guys so I can be back and in your face and hi, how you doing? Yeah, I'm tired, can you tell? <laughs> so I'm gonna go wash my face and get ready for bed. It's great to be back, hopefully for good this time, fingers crossed. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time, love you, bye. Thinking it's time